Here are your two minutes of pro football history as presented by the Pro Football Hall of Fame. One day before his 34th birthday, longtime Baltimore Ravens safety Ed Reed added his name to the NFL record book before a Monday night football national television audience during the NFL's 2012 kickoff weekend. He intercepted a pass late in the third quarter and ran it back 34 yards for a TD. The return made him the NFL's all-time leader in interception return yardage as his total, by game's end, stood at 1,497 yards. His name on the record was preceded by some of the game's greatest. Hall of Famer Rod Woodson had held the record with his total of 1,483 yards accumulated over 17 years in the NFL. Included in Woodson's total were a record 12 interception returns for TDs. Before Woodson, the career interception yardage mark was owned by another Hall of Famer, Emlyn Tennell. The first African American enshrined into the Hall of Fame, Tennell also long held the title as the game's all-time leading interceptor with 79 picks during his career from 1948 to 1961. Going back to the earlier days of NFL stat keeping, the record for interception return yardage once belonged to slinging Sammy Baugh. Most noted is the Hall of Fame quarterback of the Washington Redskins, who revolutionized the passing game in the NFL, Baugh played in the era of two-way players. And during his time in the Redskins secondary, he amassed a then-record 491 yards on 31 interceptions. He also holds the distinction as the first player in league history to pick off four passes in the same game. Ed Reed's record-setting ways are not a first by any means. Perhaps most notably, and quite helpful in building his most recent record, Reed owns the two longest interception returns ever. In a game in 2004, he ran back an INT 106 yards. Then, four seasons later, he bettered that record by one yard. And there are your two minutes of pro football history, presented by the Pro Football Hall of Fame.